Good evening. A Southtown school district is taking a bold step in the fight against measles. Students are not allowed to get on the school bus unless they're caught up on their vaccines. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Nikki Dementri found out how many students this will affect and why one attorney expects legal battles for years to come. Since January of this year, the U.S. has seen upwards of 1,100 cases of measles, a large majority happening right here in New York State, something Governor Andrew Cuomo is trying to slow down with a recently passed law that ends religious exemptions for vaccines. It went from zero to an epidemic overnight. Um, everybody's rushing to put uh, some type of law into place to make sure that this doesn't become a bigger problem. And now the fight against measles is going a step further in East Aurora. A recent ruling from the East Aurora Union Free School District because of this new law says any unvaccinated child without a medical exemption will no longer be able to use the district's transportation. This new ruling extends to children in private or parochial schools who use the district's transportation as well. And because of this, about 60 students in East Aurora schools will be impacted. This is, I think, one smart strategy to try to protect the students from exposure not only in the classroom, room, but also on the school bus from uh, for vaccine preventable diseases. Managing partner Anthony Kuhn's law firm, Tully Rinke, specializes in special education law. He says over the past month, his firm has seen an uptick in calls about vaccination policies in schools. I expect it there's going to be battles over these laws for decades to come. Erie County Commissioner of Health Gail Burstein suggests those who may still be uneasy about vaccinating their child to speak with their primary care provider. You can definitely comfortably say that vaccines are safe, vaccines are effective, and we encourage all families to get their children immunized with the recommended vaccines. Nikki Dementri, 7 Eyewitness News.